think that's recording. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday, everybody, or whenever you're watching this video. I um, I <laughs> I was about to let the dogs out uh, to go in the backyard, and I noticed the pool guy was back there, and uh, so I don't like to let the dogs out with the pool guy. Not that they're mean or anything; they're actually the opposite. They're too nice, and they will bug the hell out of him all the whole time he's trying to work. Um, so I keep him inside, but I noticed he was like wet, which is not unheard of for a pool guy. I get it, but dripping, uh, wet from head to toe. And, and I walked out there and I'm like, Hey bud, you, you okay there? He's like, dude, I just, I just had to jump into your pool. And I'm like, why, why'd you have to do that? It's like 40 degrees out here. And I can imagine that pool is not much warmer. He's like, I just dropped my phone in the pool. So I had to dive in and, and get the phone. And he's shivering. It's shaking. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that I, <laughs> without trying to laugh. It's like when you see a, somebody fall on the ice and you're like, oh, my God, are you okay? Before you start laughing. It's kind of like how that. And I'm like, uh, do you need a towel or anything? Do you need to come in and warm up? He's like, no, no, I don't need a towel. I'm, I'm fine. I'm like, dude, you're not fine. You're shivering. Uh, let me go get you a towel and you can come inside and warm up. It's quite okay. Don't, you don't have to, your, your pride is, is safe here. You don't have to be uh, Mr. Macho and think you can do it. Just come in and warm up. Uh, we, uh, stand by the fire, for God's sake. So uh, so that's about the most eventful part of, of my day. Um but then I saw that, um, then the second most eventful part of the day is that Zoom now is at 5.9.3. Why is that so cool? Because there's a bunch of new features and a bunch of new things that I got to show you. One of my favorite new ones is this. I'm going to give you an example, a workflow example. Say you're in an airport, say you're at a customer site, say you're somewhere remote that has really bad um, internet or, or, or choppy internet, and you're really just having a hard time uh, understanding and seeing video. Did you know you can now stop incoming video into your meetings? And what that does is obviously saves the bandwidth coming into your meeting. So when you're in low, low bandwidth or low latency areas or high latency areas, I guess, um, you can now stop the streaming videos coming into your meeting and only stream yours out. Obviously, what this does is it makes the, uh, your bandwidth a lot more efficient because you're only just streaming out and not in. How do you do this, might you say, Kelly? Well, here's how. Go to view. Up here is view. Obviously, I have two people in this meeting. My test, my both of my test accounts in, in, the, in the Zoom and Ear uh, uh, test account that we have. But if you go to view, not only do you have the, all the cool ones that we always know, the gallery view of everyone in the gallery, the speaker view you can have, or I can just have the speaker highlighted on the screen. Immersive view, you've seen me do a demo of this with all our virtual backgrounds and having uh, your pictures or your videos immersed inside of that, of that uh, area. But look what's underneath that now. Stop incoming video. And I just showed you, I just walked through the workflow with you of why you would want to do that. Typically, you would hide in a high bandwidth area. You don't want to do that, right? You want to see everybody's screen all the time. Uh, and they're smiling you know, or angry faces, depending on what you say. <laughs> but stop incoming video allows you to do that, just that. So I'm going to stop the incoming video of my mobile. Hi, mobile, right there. And now, boom. Now I'm just going to get the picture of Patrick Kelly in my meeting. I can still hear his audio or her audio. I don't have audio on because I don't want it to echo to happen, but you understand. You, the walkthrough uh, of that work scenario works perfectly. So stop incoming video. First of all, you need to do is upgrade to 5.9.3. Go to, I have done a video on this on how to do updates. So if you don't know how to update your Zoom client, please go watch that video. Once you've updated it, you will now have this feature, uh, a cool way to stop incoming video for low bandwidth work scenarios. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you later.